I have always said that that ideas are free. The magic lies in execution. You know how well you do it because you can be an idea and not execute it well, then it's you know not worth the entire journey. We are in long format. It takes two to three years to execute anything. But the impact of where the story will go lies in distribution, mm. and we underestimate that because we are a hundred percent equity industry. So we are we've raised money and maybe we have done a sale, and that is how the business becomes transactional. Mm. But if we can take a moment. and if we can step back and we can just see trajectories of breakouts uh, where there is a black panther mm. a lion or where there is a crouching tiger mm. hidden dragon where there is crazy rejections mm. so that kind of for our brown content mm. is a dream that i see yeah. and i pray and i hope mm. one day uh, one can achieve that couple of billion dollars of box office we all want to build our careers in specific industries but not all of us have access to working in them and understanding how they work that's exactly the problem that gunit monga faced all those years ago when she wanted to become an independent film producer but she really tapped into understanding how it works made her baby steps into it understood the value of distribution and eventually led to winning the first oscar for an indian production we're going to tap into all of this and more with gunit monga today on take a pause with me varun dugirala before we go there we make sure you hit subscribe and click on that bell icon go into my chat with guneet welcome to take a pause with me varun dugirala this podcast has been 6 <laughs> to 9 months coming in making i remember the first time you and i spoke was before you were like maybe ele jane wali hu oscar se to aa jaungi fir kar lenge right And I'm like, इसके पहले कर सकते हैं क्या? And we're like, okay, let's figure a way to do this. And फिर पुआनी. Then we started. शादी कर रही थी उससे पहले. Correct. फिर Oscar हो गया. हाँ. And Oscar के लिए भी also it was like two months of traveling, being in LA. Yeah. And uh, then it's been. Then the world has changed. I've been on changed. the road. I know. I feel so bad that this has no. taken so much time. I've wanted to be here. I have been following all of them. So now that we're finally. Yeah. No, but I'm happy that we're doing this now because. I also I feel observed what has happened yeah. over this period of time with you and I always think about one thing is that and I go back to the fundamental everybody says ki want to work in the industry ki mujhe director banna hai mujhe actor banna hai mujhe writer banna hai if very few you will meet say I want to be a producer yeah i was one of those people i always want to be producer I never want to direct never want to do anything else was it producing that you wanted to do always was that where it started hmm very interesting question actually f- for me if i look back um i think uh, i was always the extra co curricular person in school always outgoing doing convers- doing a lot of drama theater to kahin na kahin acting ka bhi tha keeda mm-hmm. i would not uh, dismiss that but i started in production Hmm. and just stumbled upon production and i was like okay this is just organizing this is just you know putting things together hmm. which kind of aligns to so many things in my brain yeah. and how to expand it and how to you know bring everything so it was a lot of organizational skills that it tapped into hmm. and i found that very um 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 you know challenging yet easy to overcome what i mean i found it very rewarding mm. you know to be able to put things together to mm. be able to do them yeah. and that's how i stumbled upon producing yeah. uh, interning with my best friend's mother uh, on an international film in delhi when i was like 16 17 and just that kept growing kept doubling down so from an interns from an interns interns to an official intern mm. in 2004 to then you know production coordinator location production manager line producer mm. and then figuring out raising money producing all of that in delhi and then moving to bombay the hustle here and mm. then life here and now mm. 16 years later mm. you know we are here discussing it but somehow it's been largely that yeah. Uh, but yeah if i think early on i think i was leaning mm. into ki kuch karna hai mm. with communications mm. and with where i can express myself mm. uh was it direction was it acting was it producing was not clear mm. but i just really enjoy producing mm. and it's also i think producing such a ek to misunderstood i remember the first time i said and i remember i started to work in television and um, i was a producer for a show mm-hmm. 
मैं घर वापस गया अंकल आके बोलते हैं कि बेटा तुम चैनल में पैसे डाल रहे हो हम लाइक अंकल मेरे पास कहाँ पैसे डालने के लिए बट यूर अ प्रोड्यूसर ना प्रोड्यूसर तो पैसे डालते हैं एंड आई टू सिट एक्सप्लेन वॉट अ प्रोड्यूसर डज Um, and i feel that also that confusion sometimes puts people away saying that's not even like a, a job but there is that is actually the core job often thankless also no very incredibly thankless and also incredibly rewarding if that is what makes you tick you know if that is what works for you phir matlab baad mein jaye baaki sab log duniya and it's um yes it's thankless because logo ko pata nahi hai and you're absolutely right ki producers karte kya hai uh i've had two extremes of uh, people uh, asking me ek to log bahut confused hai because uh, at least my family friends who've known me for a very long time or distant relatives families you know who've seen me know that we don't come from money at all you know we come from an extremely humble family um and then i also you know just moved here lock stock barrel i had a huge personal tragedy and for me bombay was a fresh start in life as a 22, 23 year old person. So they are very confused. कि भाई ये producer क्या करती है? You know ये करती क्या है? ये है क्या scene? So of course, uh, explaining people that you know from from finding a story to championing a story to hustling and putting packaging it in terms of actors, in terms of HODs to finding the money to executing it and then to marketing it, distributing it, putting it all together, landing it all right, so that it has you know that. it has its best opportunity when it comes out in the world uh, and the world is ripe for it to expand its footprint in the best ways producing and doing it over and over again doing it on multiple projects uh, but i have the other extreme of people who have come to me and said ki to matlab koi to koi to boss hoga na koi matlab akeli karte ha koi nahi tere upar matlab uttar ko kaun sikhate ye karne खुद ही फिगर आउट करते हो यू नो एंड दिस कम टू मी फॉर अ डेकेड एंड हाफ कि कोई तो होगा ना मैंने बोला नहीं नहीं है मैं करती हूँ मैं ही हूँ तुम तुम बॉस हो तो अच्छा एंड देन सम ऑफ देम एक्चुअली मेक इट टू बॉम्बे आउट ऑफ कंप्लीट क्यूरोसिटी एंड देन सम ऑफ देम इवन कम टू द सेट एंड देन वेर दिस सी टू हंड्रेड थ्री हंड्रेड पीपल वर्किंग एंड यू नो द कहीं ना कहीं वो मैजिक ऑफ शूटिंग उनको समझ आ जाता है कि कितना मुश्किल काम है यू नो ये जो हम दो घंटे डेढ़ घंटे दो घंटे की पिक्चर देखते हैं बट उसके पीछे वॉट इट टेक्स द एंड द रिपीट एंड द फुल फुल डे दैट यू आर यू नो ट्राइंग टू डू दोज फ्यू पेजेस एंड सींग दैट ओवर एंड ओवर अगेन गेटिंग इट राइट फिगरिंग आउट मैनी टेक्स मैनी एंगल्स सो वो बहुत रियालिटी चेक होता है कि नहीं नहीं भाई ये नहीं करना तुम्हारा काम बहुत मुश्किल है एंड प्रोड्यूसर ऑल्सो एट सम पॉइंट ये रहता है कि यू आर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग इन अमिट्स केयर्स एनी प्रोडक्शन सेट इज ऑलवेज एज मच एज यू माइट से कि ऑर्गेनाइज कभी ऑर्गेनाइज नहीं होता दे इज ऑलवेज टू मनी वेरिएबल्स ह्यूमन बींग्स है क्योर्स एंड टू फाइंड आर सेल्फ थ्रू दैट क्योर्स एंड दैट इज रियली इंटरेस्टिंग एंड देन आई एक्चुअली मूव टू नाउ वेर I'm going to LA. I want to start there and I want to go backwards. How was that period? Because I, I I know that before you went, we spoke and you were like, "We're going there." You know, we're putting yeah. as much effort into making sure that we campaign right, we get this. Yeah. And then you won. How was that day like? Hmm. <clears throat> A very interesting question. I think. Um, I've never spoken about it. How was that day like? Um, it was intense. It was magical, intense, uh, beautiful, goosebumps. बहुत सारे predictions थे पहले हमने बहुत मेहनत की थी putting ourselves out there in a new territory, you know, new sets of journalists, new sets of media, new sets of you know, putting your work out there, putting your resume out there from scratch. navigating into new publications but we also were with netflix so uh, a lot of heavy lifting of course is uh, done by uh, our distributor yeah. uh, there um, but yes pushing a sh- short documentary is in the oscar time is definitely challenging because there is a lot there is a lot being pushed out and everybody wants to speak to the same few individuals and in our category there was a malala film of course that had a huge press um this year um 
but for us uh, with kartiki and me they're trying to navigate this it was uh, intense and also very interesting but for me i was happy to be there with my husband who had married 3 months before we actually got married on 12th of december and the oscars was 12th of march uh so it started beautifully it started in a calm way and then the it started building up like oh, holy shit this is happening you know this is really happening and then uh, we were sitting on the ground floor pehle to wahi mere liye ek bahut bada sapna tha to sit on the ground floor because 2010 mein hmm. um i was a producer on a short film that was nominated called kavi hmm. and uh, bahut mushkil tha mere liye america jana aur maine bahut baat ki hai about that trip writing you know running in fog is like basically the title of my book if i ever write uh that you were just constantly running in fog for magic to happen matlab uh, divine will is business plan <laughs> you know so <laughs> it is you're constantly like kuch to itna intention itna shiddat ki kuch to acha hoga yeah. uh but 2004 again we were sitting on the fifth floor uh and bahut mushkil tha mere liye wahan jana wahan ja kar fifth floor par baithna sab kuch itna itna dikhta hai wahan se you know stage and it's so steep uh, that dolby theater and logo the normally when you see it on uh, on tv logo sirf ground floor dikhta hai Haan. you're not seeing the layers yeah, yeah, yeah. on you're top you're not seeing the layers to pehle bhi to pehle matlab ek din wahan niche baithoge you know and uh, then again in 2019 uh, period end of sentence happened that i was an executive producer on we were on the fifth floor hmm. and i was like yeah niche to baithna hai na bhai niche se ground level pe dekhna hai na ki kaisa dikhta hai ye ceremony uh and when period end of sentence one tab wo ek ambition bhi aaya tha ki ek baar stage pe bhi jana hai bahut saalon tak to sirf ground floor pe baithne ka ambition tha ki woh kodak theater mein uh, ground floor se hum oscars dekhenge and of course i became part of the academy and this time hamara ground floor mein hum log baithe hue the but the minute your uh, uh, har award ke beech mein break hota hai and the minute your um, section comes uh, they take you and they Uh, bring you closer to the they take the whole uh, category hmm. so five films uh, two nominees two plus one each so um, they take the whole five uh, entities with four people each hmm. to a, uh, a row three row two and they have to they clear that out in the breaks and then they take those nominees and they put there because the next is the next bunch of few films that are coming and they have they've blocked it out like that on two sides of the so it was very interesting uh hum log wahan gaye and um, we were given our places to sit and uh, and then the announcement happened and because this plays in extreme high speed in my head uh he said um the and and uh, and the winner is the and there was another film with the mm. and we were like oh my god you know i have seen my whole life in that split second i can't tell you the intensity of that and then when they said the elephant whispers and i remember kartik leaning on to me to give me a hug i was like we only have 20 seconds go up <laughs> run <laughs> run so you know i missed that hug but yeah. i was like just go yeah. and uh, producer wali baat na producer always like yeah. organizing <clears throat> but uh, then um, it was um, and we were on the stage and i could see people looking at me and i could see the whole and when you see it from that side yeah. that is music yeah. you know almost like mujhe ek point ke baad kuch sunai nahi de raha you know it is like mujhe tha ki you know i of course had prepared something to say mm. uh and i was like okay i have to say it but i also just wanted to be in that moment yeah. and i was just you know and i was also somewhere communicating to my parents mm. up there mm. uh, i'm the only child and uh, um just the dream that they had seen for me the hopes that they have had somewhere i was just like can you believe this i wish you were here so i had this divine conversation going on and then i had a conversation going on with the first second row of audience i could see spielberg there i could see eva duvernay riz ahmed I worked with Riz uh, um and uh, and I could just see them cheering for me you know and me reacting to them all this played out in high speed mujhe kuch sunai nahi de raha Kartik kya bol rahi hai bas mujhe pata hai ki iske baad acha to main jaungi bolungi but ye jo piche chal raha tha jo main piche khade hoke kar rahi hu thodi conversation upar thodi conversation niche baaki a smile pasted like it was like walking on clouds uh full slow motion and uh, 
and then um, when i just came up uh, on that i i tried to go and the music played out mm. and i was like oh ye to maine dekha hua hai pehle yeah. tv yeah. par yeah. that you know that yeah. mic is cut off yeah and i have started i have decided to walk out of the mm. stage but i was like nahi this is my moment mm. Mm. i have walked back yeah. and i have screamed to the ground floor <laughs> I remember seeing that <laughs> to the ground floor saying this is India's first ever Oscar for any India production thank you you know so just and i've seen the ground floor chair the 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 lot that could hear it of course my voice could not go to the above floors but i was like theek hai iske baad chale jayenge ek hi mauka and then i was like theek hai you know maybe i'll come back here to say something but at that uh, moment I think some sort of anxiety hit and my heart rate was just blowing up which has never happened before to me but there was so much back there was years of work and history of indian cinema i just think everything was packed holding that 3.6 kgs of an award um it's, it's it was beautiful and then when i walked up and then there was this uh, uh, there was a mic right mm. right behind backstage there is a mic sab jitna yaad tha sab bol diya jitna yaad tha and i was i was panting as if i've just ran like 100 meters five times which i can't physically but i just let just seem like that and then full night it was just uh, and it's beautiful the backstage walk is like around an hour long of walk where they take you into many rooms they have created many uh, different spaces uh, some are photography some are video interviews some are uh, audio interviews some are press global press uh, la um, um, you know like those magazines fashion magazines they have a list photographers so there are many experiences that are there backstage you also see hundreds of people doing the live programming mm. of it and you and there's a whole uh, pathway but there's like all the backstage behind you know and it still gives me goosebumps and then like bahut sare aise darwaze khul rahe the every corner there was like a champagne celebrating us and everybody had that walk every winner had that walk behind stage so every corner there was like you know congratulations guys you know sign here do this class of 2020 2023 all of that step by step step by step and then one aise darwaze khul rahe the and then one darwaza opened and i was like whoa it felt like i'm like in some uh, headquarters jaise picture mein dekhte ho you know massive press conference yeah. with like at least 500 600 people and then uh, so many more people online and then they were on and that was like a press conference and it was like a small door that opened to that like yeah. at least 600 people standing you go up on the stage and and when the questions are asked only then i realized that there were thousands of people online so there was online media and there was and there were just people typing in different languages wearing headphones and uh, that was like our moment in our press conference where we spoke and then we walked back but my heart rate was still high and uh, um i just didn't know how to even articulate it and then we went into a celebration with netflix and it was beautiful and they had a whole terrace of uh, all the netflix films and celebrating everybody then we uh went it no first we went into the governor's ball mm. and that was in the same hall and that's where they put the names on the trophies mm. uh and that is also beautiful and all the winners and everybody's there this is after the ceremony post that was the netflix uh, uh terrace garden party and then um, vanity fair party and by the time i reached home mm. reach the hotel room <clears throat> i was telling sunny that you know i just feel my heart rate is high and we put up a we put up the watch to see and it was just jumping from 120 180 i was like what is going on you know like it is still not resting and then that landed me into the beverly hospital so my oscar night was at the hospital first time in my life and uh, i remember going up to the hospital and doctor was like kuch nahi hota bade aate ho you know <laughs> sab it's They a common this every year <laughs> we're used to this <laughs> so i think it was an adrenaline um, rush and an adrenaline crash mm. and just i think years of dream mm. and it is so tough mm. and so grateful yeah. for every entity for every person who's been part of it going mm. up till there yeah. so and making that beautiful yeah. film so yeah i a bit of a long answer no. 
but that it's, day was magical and it's, and it's played in high speed i love the fact that you you gave a high speed narration of the whole thing yeah. actually i'm going to ask you and, and i often found this when there are moments like this in anyone's life it's also the next day morning when he really starts to soak in when did it really soak in for you that this had happened it's all this is cuz because you the the peaks are happening the heart rate is going up and down but there's a moment when all of that at some point there is some form of silence post the hospital yeah um but you would have really like one second this actually happened yeah when did that happen hmm i think few months after like when coming back to india when you see the joy in the eyes of uh your own people and when i think what is joy you know what is success if you can't share it and if you can't live it through people around you you know for me sense of family sense of having my own friends family who've seen my journey who've known my life for them to feel like it's a collective win yeah. and that's when you're like kya kuch to kiya hai you know uh, to see my um, new set of parents sunny's parents uh, they were so happy to just and it kept multiplying it kept multiplying coming back to india you know uh, the team at sikhya uh, the team here everybody around all the people you know the love the messages the, the just the smile yeah. and i think it's still there because it still feels like you know i've not met everybody <laughs> so it still feels like every time you know congratulations for the oscar and i also feel very very grateful that it is um, uh, very humbling that it is for a first indian production you know so it's uh, i think many years in coming and i hope many more now you know for everybody across languages uh, but this year was really special because there was rrr who was doing the heavy lifting for us uh, i i still remember this is a little, little uh, uh, fun we were having so to enter the awards you have you can only go in limousines okay so there is a then there is a limousine traffic jam <laughs> so for a couple of hours you're in a limousine and yeah, because each limousine the people are on the red carpet uh, they are on the limousine and then you are entering the function through the red carpet so we were in that limousine and uh, there's a point at the, there's a checkpoint where you have to roll down the everybody has to roll down the windows and both sides there are fans who are blocking uh, the alleys and because everybody rolls and they hope to spot somebody you know they hope to spot uh, we rolled down they looked at us indian uh, indian skin mm-hmm. and i remember both sides people were talking the people were slash start screaming at us ar 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 and i was like cousins <laughs> you know so <laughs> so i think they did the heavy lifting they did a fab job yeah. you know uh, i think uh, they really positioned india and cinema from india in such mm. a big and an amazing way yeah. that uh, for years to come it mm. will um, uh, it set a stage mm. in the right way for, because you know when you have to do press interviews when you have to get into those rooms and you have to talk about your culture your heritage your country uh, there is contextualizing that yeah. one needs to do and just for people to be aware that we are many languages from india yeah. it's uh, i think they did the heavy lifting yeah. so rrr was uh, a rage and 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 this is the same year where there is rrr that one for music and their song and uh, there's a you know tamil documentary an indigenous documentary uh, which is elephant whispers mm. that also one mm. so you know the spectrum that india has to offer yeah. so that i feel very yeah. um, good to be part of that it's interesting you bring that up right because india so diverse in obviously not just the languages but cultures and that translates to all the different kinds of cinema and content that comes out and there's been always in the perception about okay, india's moment will come in cinema this felt like one of those moments like the moment is kind of coming in i think every culture has had that you know you had uh, a point where you know you look at um crazy situations and coming out you're looking at um when you know i think when even shangchi happened or when a black panther happened you know there all those moments and it's just pointing once again this is going to be you know india's moment and it felt like the beginning of that cuz till now we were always been like typecast in certain categories in, it's like it's like you know it's the standard thing of indian movies is basically song and dance um or if it is uh, indian food there's a chicken tikka masala which i'll never get over in my life it's the worst thing to eat ever um but do you feel we're at this moment where you finally the even the business of it is orienting in a way that it can actually be more it's waiting to happen <clears throat> it's absolutely waiting to happen because uh getting into mainstream distribution in various territories and 100 plus territories uh 
would dis- you know it's very interesting like i feel like i've had this life or that exposure and that experience with lunchbox which um, allowed an indian film in our language in our color originated from here it was a co-production indo french german we went under the treaties to try and do something different um <clears throat> but it's still with lead producers as indian originated from here uh it had an incredible distribution pattern uh and it went to all countries and distributed by uh a-list distributors around the world and at different times so it distributed over two years to theatrically did extremely well in spain and japan in like small small territories uh to us became the highest box office foreign language film of 2014 in us till i think pk happened uh till 15 december and then there was PK because the diaspora uh, peaked uh, that. So there were two films that were the highest box office films of 2014 was PK and um, uh, Lunchbox um, in US on the US box office chart. So even the market there is very curious about India. Yeah. That there is this large footprint. There is this we are the world of Jawan and Pathan and, you know, yeah. Raju Hirani and Raja Mali. <clears throat> and then there is... Uh, uh, lunchbox or uh, or um, um, uh, Chetanya Tamane's films, you know, and there is the independent cinema. Yeah. So we are the whole spectrum, and uh, we and I say this, we are literally everything, everywhere, all at once, you know, to describe <laughs> yeah. us. Yeah. And it's so difficult to explain that to to somebody because they're looking at like, and they actually typecast you as Bollywood, which is the worst thing to do. Uh, which we are not, you know, we are in Indian cinema, and we are a celebration of Indian cinema. Yeah. And then the digital world has happened. Now there's, you know, all these amazing platforms uh, with uh, with Disney Plus, Netflix, Amazon, completely uh, blurring the boundaries. And then you see like a, a, a money heist or a, a Korean breakout series yeah. back to back. Yeah, Squid Game. And- everything. Uh, yeah. the, and the pandemic accelerated that. I feel like somewhere there will be a breakout, mm. theatrically yeah. or on digital, yeah. it is waiting to happen, mm. which will be India's uh, mm. absolute, originated from here, so local that it is so global, uh, yeah. that some sort of that will happen, will happen in a genre, will happen in a, a period piece, I don't know, mm. will happen with a documentary, um, we don't know that, but mm. it's all, the everything is leading up to there, mm. but it's a mixture of, I think the key is in distribution. The key is, um, and I've always said that, that ideas are free. Uh, The magic lies in execution, you know, how well you do it, because you can be an idea and not execute it well, then it's, you know, not worth the entire journey. We are in long format. It takes two to three years to execute anything from an idea to execution. So then you want that to be praised. You want that to be spoken about, the execution. But the impact of where the story will go lies in distribution. And we underestimate that, you know, because we are a 100% equity industry. So we are, we've raised money and maybe we've done a sale and that's about it, you know. Uh, and that's where, and that is how the business becomes transactional. But if we can take a moment and if we can step back and we can just see trajectories of breakouts, uh, where there is a Black Panther, where there is a, um, a lion or where there is a, a hero, a crouching tiger, hidden dragon, where there is crazy rotations. So that kind of, for our brown content, is a dream that I see. And I pray and I hope one day uh, one can achieve that couple of billion dollars of box office. Uh, I've been saying that, uh, I remember coming back from the Oscars, there was a big conclave, and I was put on that conclave, and they were like, acha, ab kya karna hai? You know, so when that month, Pathan has also happened, crushing the box office globally and setting up new precedents. It's like, I've always wanted to do Brown Panther, you know? It's waiting to happen. So it's, it is, I think my, uh, this decade is, I, I want to be able to do that. Yeah. You know, it, and I picked up distribution because I, I know that you and I have spoken about this before we came on uh, to do this podcast, but I also feel that to understand how the biggest movies in the world become the biggest movies in the world is to understand how they make sure it's a global movie and not a local movie, right? You know, really sometimes just feel it's not a culture thing, it's, it's a language thing, but it's just generally how you're able to get it in every region 
So they also some of the biggest movies in the world have like they they literally doing I think they spend so much on marketing because they go into every single country doing that entire piece there. Uh, if you had to think about that aspect for a lot of our movies, do you feel and the fact that we talk talk about streaming so much, we shouldn't think that streaming is the only thing that this is the screens are actually what gives you that reach, or do you think the streaming helps a lot more? I think. Uh uh series definitely the streaming you know um seasonal return um i mean i'm a producer mm. and i want in my career to have like a streaming breakout yeah. which is series and you're coming back to it and you're reading and there is a global audience is waiting for that that breakout will happen in uh the episodic format but uh, films i feel still will break out in cinemas around the world somewhere i do believe in that magic of that window of cinemas and it's back i mean yes if you'd spoken a couple of months ago uh, on this podcast maybe we'd be like ek din hoga hum wapas aayenge <laughs> but it's it's back out yeah. there i think uh, people are loving to coming back and globally yeah. it is it is uh, there is a trend of people coming back but i just think um, in cinema it's about an experience it's about what is it that you're making people experience you know uh, and it, and is it something new mm. uh, because we've all we're all now overexposed we are dealing with overexposure mm. so are you making them jump from their seats mm. are you making them cry are you mm. making them fall in love are you mm. making them reflect and what is the story what is the package what is the experience mm. and that experience is something that people pay for and come for you know and uh, that can transcend your um, Yes, uh, I think you can uh, you can attract a lot of audiences with a star. You can attract a lot of audiences with uh, the effects, the um, the style, the broad big picture. After that is the experience, the story, and what you're trying to give. And you can also do that with um, the power of the story only. You know, so I think. Um, I think the recent film that uh, I we've produced called Kill yeah. I experienced that in Toronto at the Toronto Film Festival it is a genre film mm. it is um, um an extreme action film it is um uh, s- um s- skull splitting action <laughs> you know I was finding that word uh but that's something like that has never happened in mm. India so even for us as producers uh, both Dharma and Sikhya which is my uh, production company it just to experience the journey the train mm. and then to look at reactions and people are like this is an experience on an indian train and um um as 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 a genre film you know so you're taking people in a certain space that mm. they've never been mm. you're taking people onto a certain journey and you're tapping into the fan base of genre audience around the world mm. so that is what is the newness uh, what is and and I think because of that premiere which was literally last month mm. I can today talk about what I mean by different experience in cinema mm. you know um which is beyond the usual experience so this is what the, why are horror films so popular mm. why are there such global hits of horror films mm. or genre films you feel it. you you yeah. feel it it yeah. gets into your skin and you're yeah. like it's almost like a roller coaster you're mm. it's almost like you know let's see if I can do this you know so um and and that kind of action we've not seen in india that kind of um, uh, goosebumps action and cheering where you're like so much innovation yeah. in types of yeah. killing yeah. we've not seen in a confined space yeah. so with some speed with some uh, you know time running against so it's a it's a lot of thing put together so that kind of experience will be new so i feel like yes uh, you know that is something that maybe theatrically again speaking too soon uh, but maybe theatrically will be um, a good experience to put out there definitely if you think back on the time you moved to bombay versus now us time pe the dream was this yeah yeah and now i'm guessing the dream has become yeah. bigger and there's a lot more there what was the dream then the dream was actually my favorite film in the world at that time and even now is monsoon wedding uh my dream was to tell uh an intimate story uh, independent film uh i really loved meera's work uh and and she's done so much in putting 
so many stories out there of brown culture skin and you know you can um, feel and smell uh, our part of the world in its true form and sense with uh, her perspective and her eye and uh, i think uh, my whole world view was monsoon wedding jaisa kuch banana hai you know jahan matlab duniya bhar mein hum dekh paaye wo kar paaye and somewhere that uh, with because lunchbox was distributed equally and with that kind of footprint that kind of came close to fulfilling that dream with lunchbox was fulfilled uh it became a, a beautiful journey that i was part of with uh, the writer director ritesh patra and uh, after that i think it was of course the oscar because kahin na kahin wo man mein tha ki ground floor pe aana hai aur fir wo tha ki stage pe jana hai ki jeetna hai lekin ab wo hua to i have to win for a feature film yeah. also we sh- we won for a short documentary yeah. that i'm very grateful for yeah. i also want to say that uh, to many people who don't know that academy awards is a beautiful is one of the uh, most uh, is the epitome of celebration of cinema mm-hmm. but doesn't give money because there is just so much uh, hype around it in india mm. that you know pata nahi kitne paise jeet liye kya ho gaya mm. it is just a beautiful reward and uh, it is celebration of cinema and a storytelling and a journey uh, which you know uh, happens with so many people mm. coming together yeah. um, and so grateful for mm. each one of them and uh, i think now the dream is uh, brown panther mm. brown uh, panther. where uh, brown panther crazy rich indians yeah. uh crouching tiger hidden dragon from india uh, yeah and slowly inching towards that and an oscar for best film yeah yes. yeah itna sa khwab hai yeah ek when was the time jab ye socha tha ki you know to build my own production company cuz you know producer first yeah. it's also a big leap seeing now saying yeah. i can do this year mere company hai yeah. chalungi i want to do it my way i want to show indian culture i love the fact that i want to show indian culture the way it actually is and not often the caricature of how it's presented yeah. i think the problem is most global market mein yeah. that type cast indian wala accent <laughs> lo what they wear saying everything is balle balle yeah, just bale bale. they ha uh, exactly right <laughs> um, across everything which yeah. still continues it hasn't yeah. gone away yeah. right um, apart from that what are that point is in one thing i want this to be mine i want to build this myself always uh always i think my dad was a hustler mm. and i have uh, was like a small time business owner uh, like a property consultant mm. he hit to be called a property dealer mm. so i'm a property consultant uh so i think he was also like a, he was jugaad at max mm. that jugaad has uh, led us to now talk about producing mm. and hum yahan par aakar bahut usko acche se dissect mm. karenge but actually but jugaad it is jugaad is correct it is hustle <laughs> yeah you know and it is again running in the fog ki kuch ho raha hai kuch matlab hum kar rahe hain aur aise mission mein um to always wanted to have my own setup uh, always wanted to learn the business and uh, do something of my own to so, bahut assist kiya till my uh, neighbor one day and he was actually on the first floor and i used to live on the second floor in kailash colony we were on rent mm. unka apna ghar tha mm. and his name is kamlesh agarwal and he said i want you know ki tum um, तुमने मास कम्युनिकेशन पढ़ा है तो ऐसे छोटे बच्चों का मुझे स्टूडियो बनाना है जहाँ हम उनकी वीडियो वीडियो शूट करेंगे और उनके पेरेंट्स के लिए तो तुम्हें कैमरा घूम रहा है तो तुम देख लो कैसे सेटअप करना है ऐसे इसके लिए आपके पास कितने पैसे फिर मैं सोच रहा था पचास लाख टाइप मतलब बहुत भाई याद आइडिया है ये नहीं करेंगे हम इसके लिए मैंने पढ़ाई नहीं किया तो हम फिल्में बनाएंगे मैं बॉम्बे जाऊँगी एंड आई नेवर कम टू बॉम्बे आई कम ओनली फॉर अ डे फॉर एक्चुअली फॉर इरफान खान पासपोर्ट एंड वीज़ा एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज आई वॉज अ प्रोडक्शन कोर्डिनेटर ऑन अ फिल्म a canadian film that he was an actor on and in between flights i needed to process his visa so i'd only come for a day but i never really experienced bombay uh, and how this works and this land of uh, dreams mm. um yeah but i came and he said yes and i we built a company and i started a venture of my own and made a film called a children cricket film called see salam india and uh, that film happened in i met uh, my director and partner who also had access to other half of the money and then that film landed in 1.5 crores and we went back to raise 25 each more so that's how a figure of 75 we both reached e- uh, raised and then that film got made that was my first film i was 21 years old and um, yeah 
and somewhere between that sikhya was born and uh, and it's very interesting i think i am very i think i've been an innovator in distribution all by myself mm. for a very long time yeah. i'm just realizing that ki har bari is picture ka na kuch karna chahiye iska kuch footprint badhana chahiye wo jo keeda hai na uska kya kare matlab uh, salam india was actually a film that released in 2007 when india lost the world cup mm. the same month the same week and uh, even though it had all its classic boxes ticked uh, with ad labs distributing with the whole and india you know would definitely panch saal pehle had won the uh, no was in the finals with uh, australia was hoping to be in finals but you know first elementary round mein bahar aa gaya india mm. and mine was a children cricket film yeah. and it uh, just absolutely released and was taken away from cinema saying hamare na theater jal jayenge inko leke chale jao we can't talk about cricket the emotion is so bad like the emotion is so against and uh, and that's when i was like how will i ever return this money and we started doing school to school distribution booking single screens booking schools 50 rupees per child 1000 rupees cinema 1000 uh, seater cinema um, so 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 it was a 50000 ka show and we got that theater for 10000 on rent so 40000 were mine then i sold the advertising i sold the interval to ads for 10 15000 so somewhere making a 50 60000 ka kitty on per show Uh, going back to the principals, getting letter, opening another school, opening, taking more letters of appreciation. Did three hundred plus shows like this. Took nine months of my life. Made all the money back, um, and further doubled down on the selling the interval, pandra minute ka interval, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, and uh, your uh, um, we were able to give out samples for brands, you know, so do sampling there with a thousand test crowd in in an audience for you. So I was able to sell all of that. for 9 months but recover all the money back but it was definitely innovation of distribution and i still reflect on that because it's waiting to still happen uh, and children film is waiting to still happen in india in that way because we have so many schools we have so many eyeballs uh, but somebody is here going to join those dots uh, soon we've been still discussing but that hustle from uh, 2007 to now has not left me and i hope you know well it gets easier but uh, you know more people and you can make more calls and you can get into more doors but clarity of vision and then what are you asking and what are you pushing a yeah. uh, piece mm-hmm. of content needs to be as relevant every time how did you convince more people to give you money i mean, I, i understand he gave you money cuz obviously yeah idea ek tha you said no no i'll make a movie Asagad, huh. but at 21 how do you convince someone to give you money to make Just a film Just when you believe something so um, so much तो मतलब आप जो पूरी वो जो पूरी कयानात जुड़ जाती है ना टू डू दैट इट इज इट इज अ मिक्सचर ऑफ समथिंग्स इट इज अ मिक्सचर ऑफ अटमोस्ट फेथ इट इज अ मिक्सचर ऑफ अटमोस्ट लव फॉर व्हाट वी आर ट्राइंग टू डू एंड यू हैव टू वांट इट सो बैडली एंड सो मच दैट दैट्स व्हाट यू थिंक अबाउट यू प्रोसेस यू पुट इट आउट इन द यूनिवर्स यू आर मीटिंग पीपल एंड द यूनिवर्स स्टार्ट्स लीडिंग यू टू वन पर्सन इंट्रोड्यूसिंग यू टू अनदर चल तो उससे मिल ले चल वहाँ देख ले एंड जब मैं अठारह साल की थी ना मेरे डैड का ग्रैंड प्लान मेरे लिए था कि इसकी मैं नौकरी लगवा देता हूँ एक्चुअली नौकरी मैं तो नौकरी करूँगी नहीं mm. वो भी उनको पता था बट uh, उनका ग्रैंड प्लान था मैं इसको इंश्योरेंस एजेंट बना देता <laughs> क्योंकि मैं फिर अपने दोस्तों को इंश्योरेंस भेज दूँगा एंड uh, इसका uh, वो आएगा ईयरली uh, रेवेन्यू कमीशन आएगा तो दैट वॉज इज ग्रैंड प्लान फॉर हिज डॉटर एंड यूज लाइक इसका मैं लाइफ सेट कर दूँगा एंड uh, मैं 18 साल की हुई यानी बॉट ही प्रोट मी इन टू ऋतु नंदा स्कूल ऑफ इंश्योरेंस एंड आई वेंट एंड गिव इंश्योरेंस का पूरा पढ़ाई करके एग्जाम दिया और मेरा टाटा ई आई जी में नौकरी लग गया आई वॉज द मोस्ट एक्साइटेड अबाउट स्टेशनरी आई एज लाइक ए कलरफुल पेपर बिजनेस कार्ड हाउ हाउ इम्पॉर्टेंट यू फील वैन यू हैव अ नेम ऑन लाइक अ मल्टी नेशनल कंपनी और सम यू नो बिग ऑफिस कॉपोरेट उसके अंदर आपका विजिटिंग कार्ड है आपका मैं इंश्योरेंस एजेंट बनी जहाँ मेरे पापा uh, इंश्योरेंस बेच रहे थे अपने दोस्तों को एंड बट वो पूरी जर्नी से मैंने एक ही चीज़ सीखा वो इंश्योरेंस में आपको सिखाते हैं कि आप यू विल गो आउट टू पीपल इन योर सोशल सर्किट यू नो दैट विल बी योर फर्स्ट पॉइंट ऑफ पीपल फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली एंड पेरेंट्स के फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली एंड जो भी जो आपके हालात हैं वो वैसे ही उनके भी होते हैं यू नो सो यू कॉन्ट जस्ट टेल दैम देखो आप जैसे भी जी रहे हो आप इंश्योरेंस के लिए पैसे दे दो क्योंकि अगर आपको कुछ हो गया तो आपकी फैमिली फिर बाद में विल बी यू नो टेकन केयर ऑफ so that concept for people to buy in is very hard so they taught us and that somehow became the motto of my life over the years which i didn't realize at that point of time was ki aapko 10 log mana karenge 
और फिर एक इंसान हाँ बोलेगा बट हैव द पावर टू स्टार्ट यू नो गोइंग टू द नेक्स्ट वैन यू गेट वन नो एंड समवेर आई स्टार्ट सेलिब्रेटिंग द नोज एंड इवन नाउ वैन समबड़ी सेज नो टू अ फिल्म नो टू अ पैकेज एंड एनी एनी वेयर के चाहिए ये नहीं हो पाएगा आई एम जस्ट लाइक थैंक यू जल्दी बोल दो यू नो डोंट टेक टू मच टाइम जस्ट से नो बट से इट क्विकली सो आई कैन मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट आई कैन कीप ट्राइंग ऑल आई कैन डू इज ट्राई एंड ट्राई माई बेस्ट एंड आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू बी एबल टू थिंक कि आई डेंट ट्राई हार्ड इनफ आई डिड माई एब्सोल्यूट बेस्ट एंड इफ दैट इज समथिंग दैट आई हैव डन देन आई कैन स्लीप एट पीस एंड देन आई यू हैव टू लीव समथिंग ऑन द यूनिवर्स एंड सम हाउ डोर ओपन सम हाउ समबडी कम्स इन सेज द इलेवेंथ पर्सन कम्स इन सेज येस यू नो एंड कपल ऑफ डेज अ गो इन माई टीम वी वर ट्राइंग टू पुट समथिंग टूगेदर एंड and and jiske sath we were trying to put it together god has in said you know i don't think i can do it mm. and of course when you hear or know uh, your morals go down and yeah. you at any stage in life you yeah. know you're just like i wish you ho yeah. jata wow. i wish you would have gone to the next step you know we are dreamers mm. you know we are artists we are creative even as producers you know mm. we also see those dreams with our teams to move forward and sabka thoda moral down hua and then i just <laughs> it is just impromptu i was like you know all we have to do is start singing oh 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 <laughs> i love that munna bhai ka gana phir kya hua phir gali mein share aayi you know so somehow from that tata ai ji job yeah. to this ki jab kuch uh, koi mana karta hai na hmm. to aur naya darwaza khulega but hmm. aapke paas wo himmat honi chahiye wo darwaza kholne ki aur darwazon par khatkhatane ki hmm. because then magic happens yeah. so allow magic to happen yeah. witness magic so yeah. i mean you know i'm i, I we are all here to witness yeah. uh, elephant whisperer's journey and kartiki gonzalez's first film yeah. as a as a director and uh, incredible you know what a journey so yeah. i'm just like i know i've produced it but i'm actually more happy <laughs> for yeah. her yeah. and this journey that we've had together yeah. i'm just like anything is possible yeah. get out there and just try i was watching this show called the offer yeah which is by far it. and as a as someone who has yeah. spent a fair amount of time <gasps> and mine was television bootstrap budgets yeah. all that yeah. stuff but i related to every single episode because anybody wants to understand ki producer ka life kya hota hai uh. even from a fictional obviously there's a lot of stuff there which is made for the series but i was looking at them like thinking about that that it is and we said this so right it's a thankless job yeah. but there is something to being a producer and especially someone who's and i know that you get clubbed with this thing called independent yeah films um which i want to ask you about but there's something to that which also makes it even more like you're almost the backbone right yeah ek bar i was talking to my uh, production manager and that same production manager through a large part of my career and he's been through he's worked in like rajshree films he's worked in television so ek bar he sat me down and said like aur hum log production aur producer hai hamara kaam hai na hum log read ki haddi hai hmm dimag koi aur hai haath koi aur hai par haddi jud jate na kuch nahi chalta so remember ki hamesha we have to be stable and i've always taken that with me that that, yeah. that has to be the most stable part of any project yeah but you are an individual you will have moments of doubt moments of this thing how do you deal with that when i'm sure there's moments of self doubt moments of oh like yeah all the time and imposter syndrome even after success ki ye to fluke tha na ha ye bar bar thoda ho sakta hai hamare sath hame itna chahta hai matlab aise ho gaya hamare sath to to dono time banane se pehle bhi banane ke baad bhi aur do do saal tak you know when you're on a journey but faith hmm. transcends it all because intention um niyat hmm. you know uh these are life skills they are never they are not taught to you in school and college you know this is uh, we were talking about it this is the emotional quotient mm. you know this is always eq over iq mm. and um uh those asool principles how you show up at work what you do how you show up for a story mm. how you show up for your team when there is rejection how do you show up for a team when there is a failure mm. you know um how do you show for yourself you know uh, and that comes with faith mm. ki 
again i did my best and and somewhere the power of gratitude that i have to learn to say thank you mm. in my adverse times and that is reprogramming of the brain ki uh, we it's so hard yeah. to look at the silver lining yeah. because because uh, we are that the other side of our brain is always like you know it's it's easier to mellow in dukh mm. you know it is easier to swim in pound in in a whole pound of yeah. uh, sorrow and self pity yeah. uh, but it is also a wiring in the brain to every day say oh thank you this did not yeah. happen for yeah. my higher self yeah. and my higher good yeah. this is actually better uh, because something even better is coming for me yeah. you know and that kind of uh, faith you need to give yourself your every day yeah. and you have to show up for yourself every day like you would show up for a family member who's unwell you yeah. would show up for a friend who's down and out you know you become that voice of reason for uh, a friend who's had a breakup you know yeah. for a breakup that you have experienced yourself mm. but coming out of that is challenge it's a universal challenge for everyone it's um, but the day we learn to be our best friend the day we learn to celebrate ourselves the day we learn to say thank you in our uh, most challenging times is when some sort of strength comes because usse niche to nahi ja payenge na agle din subah usse upar hi jayenge and so that one step after another is where magic happens and uh, i know i use this word too often but life is all about that you know life is all about experiencing and celebrating that magic and fir wo din and then you remember that day as a beautiful day i mean what is success and i had to define this for myself mm. because I've never had 100 crores mm. in box office mm. in my career yeah. but uh, I'm very proud of the team and the system I run I'm very proud of the Sikhya team of the um, stuff we put out there we think about it we you know put so many hours hum bahut drafts banate hain hum bahut mehnat karte hain very proud of the journeys we have with films but then we've never had 100 crores you know so we are we not successful you know so and and this is the land that i live in this is the land i do business in you know um, and we've never lost money <laughs> so it's more like who are we where are we um and uh, and 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 for me i define success as uh if i can wake up every morning inspired to do what i'm doing i am successful because that inspiration is all you need and uh we have been making stuff in uh, a certain budget and doing 2x of that but that 2x is still not a number of 100 crores you know and maybe people are making things in 80 crores and doing 100 crores mm-hmm. you know so yeah. um so it's so we are so as our industry groomed towards itna box office itna ye itna box office which is great yeah. you know but we also coexist in one niche yeah. and we are celebrating that niche and you know uh, taking it to the world yeah have you since you mentioned 100 crores a few times yeah to puchna padega there's always a formula that so i think every industry and i think especially this industry yeah. is like this is the formula ye formula follow karoge 100 crores ban jayega 200 crore ban jayega 500 crore ban jayega was there ever a point where you like one second this is the formula let's follow the formula mujhe pata hi nahi formula sachchi kisi ne bataya nahi nahi mujhe bata do main kar lungi follow badi shiddat se को मुझे एक बार बता दो मैं सब जगह कर लूँगी अप्लाई कर लूँगी कॉपी पेस्ट बट ये इंडस्ट्री इज अबाउट इनोवेशन आई डोंट थिंक आई डोंट थिंक यू कैन हैव अ फॉर्मूला आई मे बी सम पीपल हैव एक्सेस टू दैट और मे बी आई मीन डेफिनेटली विद अ बिगर स्टार अ बिगर फुटप्रिंट अ बिगर एक्सपीरियंस यू हैव अ बिगर बॉक्स ऑफिस एंड अ बिगर ओपनिंग बट देर इज ऑल्सो that is also not predictable no. varna matlab the studios will be having a hit after hit every agreed. time na no? agreed people with all the money and all the research and all, all the, the data all the ppts will not do it yeah i filmmaking is thoda matlab yeah. dimag aur uh, dil ki jo ladai hai na usme hamesha dil ko jeetna chahiye <laughs> and everything else follows mujhe yeah, yaad hai i used to read a lot of um, stories about how things happen behind the scenes always want to learn Uh, I remember reading the story of a couple of uh, movies, and they said that the problem was at one point people who came from an extreme business background they said the industry got corporate as karte, mm. and it started getting organized. But what happened in that is it swung in a direction where it became so organized in terms of 
let's map out the scripts basis what we feel yeah. data is teaching us yeah. um let's write stories basis which what would think people are what is trending right now what people are going yeah. to ask yeah and work i remember beach make swing tha but everything went in that direction and none of it really worked yeah and somehow it feels like when you finally hearing writing is being appreciated when you're showing indians as what they really are in stories it's 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 working whereas that it went that far towards the mba of filmmaking i think it's come back to normal see where you said dil yeah. pehle yeah and i think even today coming it down to instant gratification which is uh, instagram and which is you know the creator life and reels and everything needing to a breakout matlab ab to wo har minute and har uh, daily process mein ho gaya hai yeah. but har cheez nahi break out yeah. karti yeah. something educational breaks out something uh, uh with a beautiful story and so much heart breaks out yeah. and something breaks out because the music is you know breaking out so it's just uh nobody ever knows yeah. we are all just trying our best and there is nobody who can do any shortcuts you know mm-hmm. hame bas utna hi pata hai mm-hmm. at least in this world aur agar koi aapko keh raha hai ki usko pata hai and uske paas formula hai formula hai to usko kuch nahi pata this one part of of i think cinema which i think bahut bar bhul jate hain which is that cinema is also a medium for making impact mm. right it's it's a way to tell stories not to show culture but also to kind of yeah. move culture in a certain direction yeah i've always felt that most of the cinema that you yeah. produced has always had a focus on that i always found it and kuch log bolte hain isme soul hai but i'm saying it's not just soul it's like it's it's helping you project and learn where you need to go yeah um has that always been core to anything you think i want to produce it has to have that core it can't just be for commerce and it should have some impact i think always uh and i actually love uh, uh talking about this because i reflect a lot on it i spend a lot of time thinking about impact Hmm. Um, अगर ये सब कुछ नहीं कर रही होती तो कहीं ना कहीं सोशल इम्पैक्ट में ही काम कर रही होती बट द पावर दैट ऑडियो विजुअल हैज द मैजिक दैट ऑडियो विजुअल हैज हम बचपन से हम ट्रांसजेंड हो जाते हैं वो दो घंटे के लिए भूल जाते हैं समय रुक जाता है यू नो एंड वो uh, वो रुके हुए समय में जस्ट वॉट यू एक्सपीरियंस यू टेक बैक होम इट फॉर्म्स इम्प्रेशन लाइफ टाइम ऑफ इम्प्रेशन एंड नो बडी कैन टेक दैट अवे that experience from you it's your personal experience to process mm. the way you process it mm. so um um it allows you to see yourself in different spaces mm. and to enter different worlds uh definitely storytelling creates impact mm. uh change is something that happens over generations mm. many organizations are needed for change mm. economic social political uh societal you know there are many many other aspects that come in but impact day to day impact ghar ghar mein impact mm. is definitely cinema i feel like um uh ki it's a one way story mm. you know jab aap ek tarfa kahani apni kisi ko bata rahe ho aur wo aapko apna samay de raha 2 ghante ke liye aane ke liye i don't ever want to take those 2 hours for granted you know so i think about somebody's one and a half 2 hours you know, they are giving this time to a story that we are choosing to tell mm. them and it should be worth their time so i remember a call i got from paglet uh, after putting paglet out there was one of the top uh, therapists of our country who has newspaper uh, columns and said and said i called me and just said thank you for paglet because we use it in therapy yeah. and for me i had tears in my eyes i was like you know that means the most to me it means the most to our team to our writer director omesh bisht and all of us who put it together at uh, balaji netflix everybody who put it out there I just think it was um it is something that we needed to say and how do you say it matters and mm-hmm. I think definitely post the me to movement post the uh, oscars we are we are somewhere all products of our exposure hamara kaisa exposure hua hum we are products of our taste our exposure and that defines the stories we choose that defines the world we want to champion we want to fundraise we want mm-hmm. to put our lives in putting those out there and then what is the impact of that it matters to me it's always mm-hmm. mattered mm-hmm. uh it was subconscious before and now it's a conscious effort uh so i definitely want to hum i mean even kathal was mm-hmm. an impact story fully loved it k- thank you fully ka- fully you know put together as a, a satire and mm-hmm. genius of yashovardhan mishra our writer director who's been able to do that and his first film you know so 
uh, I think it always it's mm. so important uh, to have that lens mm. because we can. Mm. Why not? You know, uh, because some of us can. Now, so these two movies, I feel, also show one thing that right? you often feel impact. करना है तो मतलब boring हो जाएगा. बिल्कुल भी नहीं. But yeah. entertaining yet impactful no, can happen. Period end of sentence, even elephant whispers, or even Surara report. I'm mm. so proud of the. Uh, Tamil film that I was able to collaborate with uh, Sudha Kongara mm-hmm. and uh, and Surya sir on it. It was just an incredible impact of mm-hmm. an entrepreneur journey and and I think the characters are so beautiful that everybody wrote about um, uh, Aparna who played Surya's wife mm-hmm. on how the projection of a female character in a big in a big picture footprint film in a Tamil film. So mm-hmm. it's always it matters to me the most uh, of. the choices we do and those are conversations mm-hmm. conscious conversations yeah. we always have and uh, because it's a long it's it's, it's not instant gratification mai subah shoot karke sham tak nahi dal sakte hame do teen do saal lag jate hain and you have to be like you're constantly living in future even now everything that um, uh, i am doing will come out in 20 later 2024 or 2025 yeah you know but i am living in that today and i'm hoping to be relevant in 2025 mm-hmm. you know and and once everything comes together so you i think we're all constantly living in mm-hmm. hope <laughs> you know so no us in a creator se baat kar raha tha and the creator was saying yeah what i'm creating right now it's not it's not i don't know if it's relevant for now this and that and mose nikal gaya tha na imagine movies bante hain teen saal char yeah. char नहीं चलेगा तो देन हैव टू थिंक अबाउट इट व्हाट डू आई डू नेक्स्ट एंड हाउ डू दे डील विद इट हम लोग सोचने कि आज बना दिया कल डाल दिया और इवन लाइक सुबह बना दिया शाम को डाल दिया एंड वी वर लाइक इट्स नॉट वर्किंग लाइक एट सम पॉइंट इमेजिन दैट एंड इट्स इंटरेस्टिंग यू से दैट बिकॉज आई फील दैट्स द कोर ऑफ इट राइट यू मेकिंग समथिंग दैट इट सेल्फ इज द रिवॉर्ड यू नीड इट या ट्रांसेंड्स अस ना इट्स गोइंग टू बी बियॉन्ड अस वी आर आल्सो वी विल आल्सो 100 इयर्स फ्रॉम नाउ व्हाट विल बी लेफ्ट you know so um, it are the it, somewhere will pick somebody will pick up these stories yeah. and somebody will see you know from uh, salam india to dasdaniya to elephant whispers to you know uh, masan lunch box gangs of us for yeah. shaitan puglet kathal you know everything that i can remember yeah. uh, tigers uh, one was trying to do something yeah. you know and now to kill <laughs> one is trying to do something yeah. uh kill is more for uh, tapping into the genre audience mm. globally mm. and showing um a, a, an experience mm. that uh an indian cinema can also create mm. uh, but it's it's all we, like i said you know uh, the exposure that i've had um and the ambition that comes out of it is a mishmash of that mm. and we put ourselves with all our love and integrity every day Uh, go to work yeah. to push that story a little forward to expand the footprint a little forward and uh, i hope when it comes out it resonates and everything that we think usse pehle har beat pe yeah. uh, it resonates because like you said that really stayed with me ki hum reed ki haddi hai but thoda sa dil thoda sa dimag thoda sa heart thoda sa kidney sab jagah haath dal rakha hai but actually agar dekha jaye to you know uh, you're part of so many dreams mm. and you're part of so many uh, people and yeah. and their dreams yeah. you know their families and their ki hum ye banayenge especially writer directors mm-hmm. and nurturing that and putting it out there mm-hmm. giving it the best yeah. you know uh, giving that story and an on screen experience the best is very very important yeah. as a producer if someone wanted to be an independent producer today mm-hmm. what would your piece of advice to them be start where you can uh start with what you can uh start with who you can uh build a tribe uh educate yourself travel to film festivals uh, i took 40 hour flights i signed up for courses i wrote scholarship i wrote to uh, institutes for scholarships figure out a way of hustle mm-hmm. itna to hustle apne liye karna banta hai ki aap jao and agar aap sirf india mein ho to mami mein aao mm-hmm. you know ifi mein jao dharmshala film festival kerala film festival uh इन्फॉर्म योर सेल्फ कि दुनिया क्या कर रही है एंड दुनिया में क्या हो रहा है बहुत अच्छा काम हो रहा है बहुत खूबसूरत काम हो रहा है एंड उस सब की दुनिया में वॉट इज़ योर कॉलिंग एंड बट यू डोंट हैव टू ओवर थिंक दिस प्रोसेस स्टार्ट विद हु यू कैन एंड वॉट यू कैन एंड देन डबल डाउन ऑन योर ट्राइब यू नो सेलिब्रेट ईच अदर द मोर यू 
celebrate each other the more the world will celebrate the union of coming together of uh, of storytelling but yeah just bottom line start with where you can mm-hmm. yeah thank you so much for doing this kunit this has Absolutely. been i have to say this i'm not saying this because you're sitting in front of me this has to be arguably one of my favorite conversations i've had on this podcast thank you it was worth the wait in so many ways thank you um, because i think genuinely there is so much value for someone to learn from yeah. your journey and your experiences so it makes you re- relook and rethink about the industry and to be able to work in it yeah because there's always been a perception of how things work yeah but you actually kind of broken through that in so many ways that um talk about breaking glass ceilings i think you broken glass on all sides of things <laughs> to to get things done as producers do yeah um uh, but thank you so much for coming on the show thank you i'm so happy for being here and i loved speaking to you too thank you varun